We're following a developing story in college football. Oklahoma State was supposed to report for voluntary workouts today, led by the nation's leading rusher, Chuba Hubbard. But that changed this afternoon after football head coach Mike Gundy was recently photographed wearing a T-shirt promoting OAN, a far-right news network that is often cited by President Donald Trump. Now, here's what Chuba Hubbard tweeted after seeing the picture. Quote, I will not stand for this. This is completely insensitive to everything going on in society, and it's unacceptable. I will not be doing anything with Oklahoma State until things change. And a number of teammates tweeted in support of Chuba Hubbard afterwards. Oklahoma State President Burns Hargis sent out this tweet later on this afternoon. Quote, I hear and respect the concerns expressed by our black student athletes. This is a time for unity in a purpose to confront racial inequities and injustice. We will not tolerate insensitive behavior by anyone at Oklahoma State. College sports reporter Adam Rittenberg joining us now on Sports Center. Adam, you talked to Hubbard for a story before his tweet today. What more can you tell us about this young man? Hey, Kevin, he's a very socially conscious guy. I spoke to him a few weeks ago about what he did during quarantine. And one of the things he told me is he started a nonprofit to help disadvantaged kids, kids that sort of grew up in his circumstance but had less support. So he really wants to, you know, has a, a viewpoint, especially coming from Canada, uh, that's maybe a little bit unique in college football. And if you follow his social media feeds, he's been very active in recent weeks surrounding the racial discussion going on in this country, in other countries, uh, Black Lives Matter. He, he's been posting a lot about that. So, so in a sense, not surprising to see him speak up uh, today. And he's a guy that has a lot of support at Oklahoma State. He's their best player. He passed up the NFL draft for another year there. So he's absolutely a leader on this team. And that's why this is a significant moment for that program. You mentioned support. As for Mike Gundy, how would you describe his relationship with the university's administration? administration. Well, Mike Gundy is fiercely independent and has clashed with the Oklahoma State administration over the years, whether it's longtime athletic director Mike Holder or the late Boone Pickens, who is the top booster there. But he's also an Oklahoma State guy. So they found a way over the years to work through some tension. Now, the only difference here is that you're, it's not necessarily involving the administration, but his own locker room as a player has spoken out, a very prominent player in Tuba Hubbard. And so you know, Mike Gundy is not typically one to back down from anything, but he's got to obviously address some things within his own locker room. That's what's different from previous flashpoints at Oklahoma State. Okay, Oklahoma State, uh, Clemson was in the news last week. We saw the firing at Iowa. What happened at Florida State a couple weeks ago you know player empowerment is there what have you noticed what have you talked to coaches about what's been the reaction there of their voices getting louder and now we're seeing change everywhere yeah, coaches have told me that they're going to have to listen more than ever. They're used to being in control. They're used to limiting what the players have to say. I mean, I never thought I'd see Iowa players on social media, and that's a, a result of what happened there. Kirk Ferentz saying his longtime policy against social media with players was, was silly. And so they've changed. And so coaches uh, realize that we're at a time where a lot of players have that empowerment like never before to speak out against things on campus, things in their program, things that have, bo that have been bothering them especially the African-American players. And so, yeah, I think right now the balance of power, at least for the moment, has shifted to the players and things that they want out there and they want to get done within their programs and on these campuses. Yeah, Ferentz on Friday uh, called it a blind spot here, uh, not understanding his players. Adam, thank you so much for this uh, perspective. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.